-hmm. Now that we are done with the first part of our session, let us now proceed to the second part, which is discussion. Well, of course, after you conducted the experiment, there should be a lecture or discussion. Okay. So the next experiment that we conducted is about acids and bases, which is titration. And titration is a technique where a solution of known concentration, which is called titran, in this case, we use sodium hydroxide, is used to determine the concentration of a known solution, which the analyte, which is the hydrochloric acid. So in this case, you observe a neutralization reaction. Okay, so the first step for the titration is just transfer the acid using pipette to a flask. So we use the pipette to transfer the acid to a flask. Then after that, put two to three drops of the indicator. The indicator that we use in this experiment is phenolphthalein. Colorless in acid, pink in alkaline. And then transfer the, the sodium hydroxide or put the sodium hydroxide here in burette. So this burette contains the sodium hydroxide, the one molar sodium hydroxide. Then after that, you transfer or you add the sodium hydroxide to the acid until it changes color, until it changes color, which turns or which should be pink, pale pink or a light pink. So that is how a titration process is. Okay. So let's proceed to the computation. So this is acid and base titration. So in this case, we transferred or we conducted a titration of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. So this is a neutralization reaction. So you expect it will produce salt and water, sodium chloride and water. So let's proceed to the computation. So we're going to identify the concentration of hydrochloric acid using this information. The volume of the hydrochloric acid used, which is 25 cm cubed. So again, as I have mentioned earlier, you should convert that into dm cube. So how are you going to do it? Divide 25 cm cube to 1000. So that will be 0 0.025 dm cube. Then the concentration of the sodium hydroxide is one mole or one mole per dm cube or one molar. Then the volume, the exact volume that we use for this titration is 6.1 cm cube, which is 0 0.00. 61 dm cube. Always remember, class, that you should convert it into dm cube. Okay. Now, same thing. We are going to do three stages or three steps to get to the answer. First, identify for, uh, the mole of NaOH. Second, the mole of HCl. Then, the concentration of HCl. So to identify the mole of NaOH, we are going to use this formula. Mole of NaOH can be calculated using concentration is equal to moles over volume. So again, you can do it direct, like moles NaOH is equal to concentration times volume. But I always want to start with this. Okay, Concentration is equal to moles NaOH over volume. Okay, so we know the concentration, which is one, and then the volume of NaOH, which is 0 0.0061. Okay, so substitute the given one is equal to moles NaOH over 0 0.0061. So do simple maths, that will be one times 0 0.0061 is equal to moles NaOH. So you multiply that you'll get the moles of NaOH, which is 0 0.0061. Okay, so we identified the moles of NaOH already. Now we can calculate the moles of HCl. So from moles of NaOH to moles of HCl, we have to use mole ratio. We have to use mole ratio. So mole ratio will be coming from the equation. So as what you can observe here, there's nothing written in front of all of this. So meaning we just use 
one mole of H, one mole HCN, and then one mole NaOH. So there will be one mole NaOH, one mole NaOH, and one mole HCN. So they are just one is to one ratio. So meaning to say, 0 0.0061 moles of NaOH is equal to 0 0.0061 moles of Na uh, of HCl because they are one is to one ratio, one is to one, based from the equation. Okay. Next is the concentration of HCl. So concentration is moles over volume. So moles HCl over volume HCl. So moles HCl we have here 0 0.0061, and then the volume we use is 0 0.025 like that. And then substitute the given, you'll get 0 0.0061 over 0 0.025. So divide, dividing this, you'll get 0 0.244 moles per dm cube of HCl. So this is the concentration of HCl that we use. 0 0.244 moles per dm cube or per liter of hydrochloric so that is the concentration of the hydrochloric acid we used during this titration process. Okay. So next will be the Pasteur paper, the IGCSE Pasteur paper, okay, which is, so let's see, this is chemistry paper four. So May, June 2020, variant 41. So here is the question. This is question number four. Aqueous sodium hydroxide or NaOH is a strong alkali that reacts with dilute sulfuric acid exothermically. So you heard exothermic reaction earlier, which means releases heat. So when you do this ex experiment, you will expect that it also releases heat. It makes the solution hot. Now, what type of reaction is this? What type of reaction is this? Adding an alkali and an acid. So when you add acid and alkali, it is called a neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction because it is producing salt and water. So next, question number two. Complete the equation for the reaction between aqueous sodium hydroxide and dilute sulfuric acid. So you expect it will produce salt. It will produce salt and water. So you know it will produce salt and water. So you expect that it is water. So it has H2O. Now, how about the salt? What is the salt that will be produced? For G9 and G10, you can identify the salt that will be produced here. You have here sodium hydroxide and then sulfuric acid. You have here sulfate, sulfate. So you expect that it will produce a sulfate salt, a sulfate salt, then water. So this case, or in this case, it is sodium sulfate plus water. It is sodium sulfate plus water. Let's proceed to letter D. A student wanted to find the concentration of some dilute sulfuric acid by titration. The student found that 25.0 cm cube of 0.0 400 mole per dm cube of sodium hydroxide reacted exactly with 20.0 cm cube of sulfuric acid or H2SO4. Now name the or name a suitable indicator to use in this titration. So we can use the one that we used during the experiment for this one, which is phenolphthalein. So we can use phenolphthalein or methyl orange. Methyl orange is also an indicator or acid and base indicator. Okay, but we can write here phenolphthalein. Okay, look at the spelling of phenolphthalein. Be careful with that. Even though you know the word, but you don't know the spelling, well, of course, your answer will be wrong. It will not be considered. Phenolphthalein. Okay. So let's proceed to the question number two. To calculate the concentration, of the H2SO4 or AQ or AQ solution in mole per dm cube using the following steps. So again, steps, three steps. 
calculate the moles of NaOH, calculate the moles of H2SO4, then concentration of H2SO4. So let's, for, uh, let's identify first the moles of NaOH. So we are given here concentration of NaOH, which is 0 0.04 moles per dm cube. It's here, 0 0.04 moles per dm cube. Next is the volume. The volume is 25.0 cm cube. But again, you have to convert it into dm cube. Divide it by 1,000, you'll have 0 0.025 dm cube. Then we are looking for the moles of NaOH. Okay, same formula. Concentration is equal to moles NaOH over volume. Okay, volume of NaOH. So concentration here is 0 0.4. So as much you can see, it is 0 0.4. And the volume is 0 0.025. So just substitute the given, then you'll get the answer. So that will be 0 0.04 times 0 0.025 is equal to moles NaOH. So when you multiply this, the answer will be 0 0.001 is equal to moles NaOH. Okay. Next, reduce the number of moles of H2SO4 that reacted with the 25 cm cube of NaOH. So again, here you need the mole ratio. You need the mole ratio. Two moles NaOH is equal to one mole H2SO4. Two moles NaOH is equal to one mole H2SO4. So again, it's just like this. The moles of NaOH, which is 0 0.001, multiplied by the mole ratio. Mole ratio is one mole H2SO4 is equal to one mole or two moles of NaOH. It is the mole ratio. Again, if you know this already, you can do it easily. I mean, if you know the ratio, you, you, you will know whether you multiply it or whether you divide it. But I'm showing you here step by step. Okay? Then it will be 0 0.001 multiplied by 1 divided by 2. Then you will get 0 0.005 or 0 0.0005 moles of H2SO4. Next is the calculate or the calculation of the concentration of H2SO4 in moles per dm cube. We know that we already know the moles of H2SO4, which is 0 0.0005 moles. So the concentration at uh, the moles is 0 0.0005. And then the volume of the volume of the acid here is 20.0 cm cube. H2SO4. The volume is 20.0 cm cube and the moles is 0.0005. Okay, so we can solve this one. So concentration is moles over volume. So that concentration is 0.0005 divided by 0.02, you will get 0.025 moles per dm cube. So this is the concentration of the sulfuric acid used in the experiment. Okay, so that ends my session class. Thank you very much. And see you again for the next science lesson. We are going to do more experiments for the next science lesson. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you and go back to you, Mr. Romel and Ms. Tins. Bye.